Thanks so much. We've got to now send it over to Ebony, who's talking about another big topic during the holidays, and that's money. Yeah, Nicole, uh, after all the fun is over, you might look at your checking account or your credit card statement, and it can be a big blow, especially if you have to pay taxes on top of that come April. So Robin Greenlee of Alliant Bank is going to go over a few simple tips to help us save in 2014. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for coming in on Christmas Certainly. Eve. Um, let's talk about um, having a plan. That really is so important. You know, one of the big challenges of saving is that most of us don't go about doing it deliberately. But if you really go about having a purpose and having a plan, you can really accomplish something and really something significant, just like the little tips we have for you today. Okay, what's number one? Well, number one is really a wonderful one because it can almost happen without you thinking about it. Splitting your direct deposit from your paycheck or your federal benefits to go straight into your savings account, it happens without you thinking about it and all of a sudden you have that money building up in your account. How much do you recommend? Well, I really like to recommend people to try for 5% or 10% of at least their take-home pay. And even if you just take home $1,000, that can add up to $1,300 in one year. That can take care of a lot of bills for Christmas. It really can. So also you talk about uh, taking your lunch to work instead of eating out. Well, this is one we really love to take our little lunches out together and have a little maybe girl time during the middle of the day. But the fact is, if we carry our lunch with us, you can really save half as much as you spend um, by making those lunches at home. And uh, just doing our little math, uh, we came up with doing your sandwiches at home. You can save as much as $600 in a year. Wow, that's incredible. That's that takes lot. discipline, though, because sometimes you just get too lazy to put a sandwich together and all this stuff. And It gets right back to that planning ahead, Ebony. Mm -hmm. You know, just thinking a little bit ahead of time when you're going and doing your grocery shopping, for example. Just like you plan ahead for your kids, you can do it for yourself, too, mm -hmm. at work. Well, what about... Uh check cashing. Ah, we can run into some very hidden charges, hidden fees and costs that we run into. If you don't have a regular savings account or checking account at a regular institution, you can really mount up costs in checking, uh, cashing your checks. So um, just a regular fee of three or four dollars per check every single time, that adds up. So um, we feel like we can um, mount up to another hundred or more dollars mm -hmm. every year just from saving that. And if you do have a regular checking account, you can save a lot of money just by avoiding those overdraft fees, which kind of sneak up on us, too. Oh, yeah, you can. Especially if you have it where one account is protected by the other one, like your savings account, like you can automatically have that money moved that over. That is a great trick to use, and you can talk to your banker about making sure that you have that protection. Um, but if you don't save up in that savings account, there's not anything that's going to be mm -hmm. there to protect you. So you really have to take a little extra time, plan ahead. But just some very simple tips, very simple changes, small changes changes in the things that you do every day can make a lot of difference in your savings at the end of the year. So uh, January 1st, when you start making those New Year's resolutions, let one of them be making a plan for how you spend your money. That's right, and we have some great ideas of how you can go about doing that. As you sit down to make those plans, just go to AlliantBank.com, and there are some other great websites that we've provided as well for that. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Once Abby. again, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. That's right. AlliantBank.com for more information. And uh, 